Hey guys, Erwin Tech here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to unblock Dino on a school Chromebook. If you did in fact enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications to get notified whenever I upload brand new videos to my channel. If you want to support my channel even more, you can buy my memberships. They are linked in the description below as always. Or you can hit that little join button right next to the subscribe button. You can gain access to monthly perks such as gifts, emojis, badges next to your name, and live streams and comments you can also get a secret members only discord and secret members only live streams i'm not going to waste any more of your guys's time let's just get straight into the video Alrighty guys, so what you want to do for this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you two ways on how to unblock Dino on your Chromebook. They're pretty easy ways to get around with and require little to no skill at all, so I really hope you guys enjoy. The first method that I'm going to be showing you guys today is a method that literally takes one click and then basically you can play whatever you want, do whatever you want, and they can't like block you or anything. It will say student is not connected or anything, but there is some downsides to it, and I'll tell you those in just a second. What you want to do is basically go over to your little time bar over here, click on it, go to your Wi-Fi, and if you have a school Wi-Fi, click this button right here to turn it off. Because if you didn't know, Dino basically blocks all the websites and everything, all the apps over the Wi-Fi connection. It has nothing to do really with your Chromebook, but it basically blocks everything through Wi-Fi which is hosted on their school network, which if you were to basically turn off the Wi-Fi, it'll say when they're trying to monitor you, student is not connected, then yeah, it'll say student is not connected and they, they can't monitor you. But the downsides are to this is that you can't play games that require Wi-Fi. You can probably play games such as that dinosaur game, which you can play offline. So just make sure to open it in a tab and then disconnect when you want to play games and stuff like that. That might not be the best best method, but I'm going to show you one more method that might work for you guys too. It's like a two-in-one method, so I'm going to show you that right now. The second method is really not that hard either, but basically what you want to do most teachers have a plan that says they can only view your browser or something like that. I'm not too sure. I do not work at Dino. But basically, if you were to go to your browser right here, and, it'll, and if you like hit this little button right here or hit that X like this, it will say student is not in browser and they cannot monitor you or anything. They can basically just monitor your browser, which is the default Chrome browser that is installed on your computer. So if you were to find a way to install another browser or something like that. I make make a future video on that, but it's not for this video. So yeah, like I just said, if you were to close out your thing right here, you can just open that back up and basically bring it over here. If you want to close it out, hit X. And then let's say you have an, a game installed on your Chromebook or something like that, then you can play it and they can't notice or you want to use the drawing app. You can just hit the menu key and go down. I usually use this a lot. Lightroom, Chrome Canvas, you just open Chrome Canvas and you can basically draw. If you have a passion for drawing or something like that, um, you can basically do this. But yeah, that's basically the two methods that I'm going to show you guys today. So basically, that's just it. You can either disconnect from the Wi-Fi or close out of your browser and play a game in a different app. So these are the two methods that I've come up with that do in fact work. I have tested them that unblocks Dino basically on your school Chromebook. If you guys want a part two, make sure to leave a like down below. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications to get notified whenever I upload brand new videos to my channel. Another perk to subscribing to my channel is you can comment down below, I subscribed, and I'll give you a shout out in my next video. So here are those people who commented down below, I subscribed. Go so search them up on YouTube, subscribe to their channel, and show them some support. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.